All right, guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Um, right now we are in a BMW and as you can see we have the ABS warning lights on our dashboard here. So we've got the ABS light, the handbrake light and the traction control light. Um, we're going to demonstrate the iCarsoft i910 kit, uh, basically fixing this problem. Um, incidentally the iCarsoft i910 kit is available from www.diagnostic-world.com or you can click the link directly below this video. So first of all, you're probably driving along and you're getting uh, your dashboard lighting up like a Christmas tree as we have right here. Um, we need to figure out uh, sort of where the problem is. So um, we can gather that it's probably within somewhere within the braking system or the ABS system. Uh, so this is where we're going to use the iCarsoft i910 kit. And we're going to go in and we're going to click on diagnose. We're going to select our system our vehicle first of all so it's a 3 series it's an E46 the process is exactly the same on any other vehicle as well uh, so we're going to click on chassis now on our menu we have ABS anti-lock brake on your menu uh, depending on your vehicle you might have ASC or DSC uh, that is the ABS system so we'll click OK on that and what it's going to do is going to connect to the ABS system now and hopefully we'll be able to read some fault codes and find out exactly where the problem is. Generally it's an ABS sensor uh, but it could also be a problem with the ABS module or the ABS pump. Right, so we'll read trouble code and we've got 5DC0 wheel speed sensor rear right. Right, so that is good news. It's not good news in that we've got a fault but well, the good news is that we've managed to locate the fault pretty simply, pretty easily without any fuss or any confusion. So um, what the best thing to do now would be to remove the rear right ABS sensor, put a new ABS sensor in, generally pretty cheap from Dominator Auto Diagnostics, um, and then you can come back into the vehicle, reset the codes and turn off the, uh, the ABS lights. Uh, so what we'll do right now is we'll go away and we will uh, remove the wheel and remove the ABS sensor. Okay, so we need to get this wheel off now. Alright, so we have the wheel off. I'm going to show you the ABS sensor. This is the ABS sensor itself. I'm not sure how well you can see that. See if I can get a light on it. There you go. So that's the ABS sensor there follow the cable what it does is it goes through here and then it's there and then up to this box here that's where you need to remove it and that's the connection undone right there and the other end of it is just an allen key Okay, so these are the ABS sensors which are actually suitable for this car. Um, this one here is the rear sensor, and you can see the part number there. Um, and these are the front ABS sensors, two, one for the left and one for the right, two different parts there. Uh, what you want to do is log on to uh, Dominator Auto Diagnostics for these sensors. It's www.bavariandominator.co.uk and you'll be able to pick up these ABS sensors. Uh, please note though that um, if your vehicle is slightly different to ours, the ABS sensors that you're, you're looking for might also be slightly different. Um, so do have a look on our YouTube channel because we do have a guide on how to find the right ABS sensor for your vehicle. Uh, or you can send us a message, send us an email and we'll get that information to you, no problem at all, and tell you which sensor you need to buy. This is the website here. If you look on the left hand side, you've got options for ABS sensors. That's what you need to click on to. Alright, so we are back in the vehicle now. The ABS sensor has been replaced. Put the new ABS sensor in from Dominator Auto Diagnostics. And what we can try and do now is reset the warning lights. So we're going in the same process as we went in earlier. E46 uh, into chassis. 
ABS. You'll notice that the fault code will still be there. That's because you need to actually remove the fault code yourself, which is what we're going to do now. Alright, so we'll just read the trouble code, make sure it's still the same code. And then we'll click on Erase Trouble Code and keep one eye on the warning lights while I do this. Fault code is erased. So we'll come out of that. And the ABS lights are still on. Generally in a case like this what you might need to do is either reset the ignition or start driving it for a few um, sort of meters. So what I'll do is first of all I'll, I'll turn the ignition off and then we'll turn it back on and see what happens with the lights. Alright so they're staying off so it just really means that we need to take it for a short drive which we'll do right now.